let's just talk about house hacking. This three bedroom unit, did yes. you stay in it? Yes. How how else did you use it? Okay, so three bedroom, two bathrooms. I stayed in the main bedroom, right? Mm -hmm. Duplex stayed in the main bedroom, rented out two to my varsity friends that started yes. working. Right. And I was charging them six thousand rent, so three thousand each each bedroom. Okay. Right. You were living for free. And my bond was at three thousand two hundred. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> right. Uh, so yeah. I was living for free, and on top of that, my expenses was cut down. It was reduced because every month we used to contribute to buy groceries. So I'm spending 300 rent on groceries because we're three people and we're contributing uh, 900 at that time to buy groceries a month. Like Petrol, that. we travel together. So oh all the money gosh. that we're making, what do you do? We, we like all work in the <laughs> That is so oh, awesome. so much. Yes. What's your sense? What is your answer to someone when you tell them about house hacking? As, especially, what is a 22-year-old and a 24-year-old insisting on privacy when they don't have money? What do you say to them? I ask them two things. Do you have a kid? To me, I say, mind your own business, right? You worried, they're not worried that of privacy. They're worried about maybe bringing a girlfriend in or a boyfriend or- That's it. You know, that's the privacy they're talking about. And thinking about what people are going to think about me. No, mind your own business. Because at the end of the day, you came as an individual and you will go as an individual. Even you're going to leave your mom or your mom is going to leave you as an individual. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh my God, Echo, this is like, this is super, super important. And all of us really, we can house hack. I believe there are even high end house hacks. hacks. You can hack at Dane Fen. I love that. So that yes. was your first property. Yes. We're going yeah. to get to this being a property boss as well. This, this hacks yes. me. Mm. What? <laughs> this is so fascinating, right? Like it I am is. just, I just like that, like you were traveling, even you were saving even on petrol. I'm like, yes. wow, that is some, that is next level, right? So he was grocery hacking and, and, and car hacking, everything. Because <laughs> when we don't learn that, and you know, as Africans, we grow, we grow up in villages, really. We yes. are brought up by a village. And yes. for some reason, the first thing that we want to do is to leave village mentality and village mentality actually makes you generous and you are able to share i wanted to ask echo so now you've got this uh three bedroom deep, uh, duplex how do you get the next property uh, what happened what led you to the next property okay so so before i answer that question let me take one step back okay. when i started working mm -hmm. i had a goal right okay. Setting goals are very important. I had a yeah. goal. Mm -hmm. My goal yeah. was that I'm going to work for five years and then yes. I, I'm out. Yes. Right? To set up my own business. Okay. okay. I don't have a mother that's going to give me money to start my own business. I don't yeah. have a sister that's going to give me money to start my own business. I don't yeah. have a father that's going to give me money to set up my own business. But right. I have a father, a mother, and a sister that gave me something very important, education. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Right? Yeah. So, so again, because you have clarity and you have a goal, you work backwards and know that if you want to do it in five years, this is how much you need in five years. So when I bought that first property, the reason why I rented it out is because Three months later, I took my rental income to the bank and I said, listen, you want me to pay 3,000 rent. I'm getting 6,000 rent. Every month I'm putting this 6,000 rent in this bank account. Yeah. I've got an excess of 12,000 rent now. Right. Yeah. Because I've paid more than enough. Mm -hmm. So yes. I need you to give me another property. This time okay. you're going to give me the property on my salary because okay. I've got rent 
that pays everything and I've got salary. Remember, I'm still working for someone. I'm still employed. Mm -hmm. So oh, I've got yes. double income. So yes. this time, instead of giving me 400,000 rand, you actually give me 1.2 million because now my affordability has doubled. Yes. 